What is up guys, Minibean75 here. Today I am back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This guys is going to be a brand new series that's going to be, it's basically going to be a giant amusement park once it gets all set and done. Obviously you guys can see we've got a few things built in the amusement park, but we're only going to focus on this big bad boy today. Um, so for this first episode is obviously going to be this giant roller coaster, and this roller coaster I decided to call Shell Shock. Um, honestly, I just I didn't know why I came up with the name Shell Shock until I basically just decided this coaster when you ride it, it literally just it's if it, this was a real coaster, it would completely shock your system. So that's what I decided to go with. So let's head on here, guys, and we'll ride Shell Shock. Let's just hop the fence. Uh oh, we're doing the no no. All right. So now we're on the coaster. As you guys can see, I'm going to flip this into third person so we can see it. And I'm just going to play a little bit of music here while we uh, ride on the coaster. And there we go. I think that was one heck of a ride. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So now what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to go through here and just kind of show you um, the full outside of the coaster. And then I'll go through and I'll uh, ride it one more time to end out the video. Um, and we'll do that and I'll keep that all in first person this time. So obviously with Shell Shock, you guys can see the you, you get onto the cart there. We go all the way up here um, for a giant drop. And as you guys can see, one of the cool things with Minecraft that I learned while doing this is if you toss soul sand underneath the powered rails, it actually makes your cart um, go up super slow, just like as if a chain was pulling you up. I thought that was super awesome. So and obviously, yeah, guys, see, as you can see here, we drop down into a tunnel. I love any roller coaster that drops down underground just a little bit. It just makes the, the ride that much more fun. And then we kept parts like this pretty pretty uh, wide open. We didn't have a whole lot of uh, tight curves in sections because we wanted to keep the coaster fast. Like I said, I really wanted it to shock your system. And then here, as you guys can see, we've got two vertical loops in a row. Obviously, it's Minecraft, so I couldn't go through and do the full loop. That's why I uh, basically did this here, basically where you come up, you hit this point, and then you flip around like this. In first person, it almost really makes you feel like you did do a vertical loop. So it still looks pretty good, and it just makes the roller coaster look authentic instead of just being a boxy minecart track, basically. So then we go all the way around there. Then we actually come up like this, and we loop through those two uh, vertical loops, which I thought was super, super awesome. And then basically then we fly down here. Hit another vertical loop, as you guys can see, and then we hit another big drop all the way down here. I don't remo remember which drop is higher. I think the first drop is higher than the second one, but if this was a real coaster, it'd be legit. Because, I mean, you're hitting a total of five vertical loops and two ridiculously high drops. Yeah, this would definitely shock your system for sure. We've got a tight corner there. Brings you into that last loop, or the uh, second to the last loop, and then that's another tight corner there to hit the last one, and then brings you all the way around back to the station. So I think this uh, roller coaster turned out absolutely awesome for literally being, I think, in my life, the third roller coaster I've ever built in Minecraft. That one's the second, and then um, I built one back in the day on another map that was absolutely terrible. So the fact that this is my third roller coaster, I don't think it looks too bad at all. Hopefully by the end of this entire map, there's some roller coasters that just look absolutely awesome on here. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. 
if you want to see the full time lapse of this video, well, the majority of the time lapse, the um, part of the file did get corrupted, unfortunately, but you will get to see most of the time lapse. Uh, if you want to see that, head down uh, into the description to my Patreon account. If you help support me, you're going to get to see awesome time lapses like this and other uh, build builds that I've done in the past. So you're definitely missing out if you don't head over there. Other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, guys. I'm just going to flip through. We're going to watch this uh, one more time, and then we're going to um, end the video. So thanks, guys. Have a good one.